Welcome back to the homestead. Thanks for joining me on another episode of In the Greenhouse with Victoria. Today you'll get to see that I'm doing a little bit of improvements on our windows. If you remember, two winters ago we had chickens in the coop and we had all this wire, chicken wire, and this plastic wire up to protect the windows so they wouldn't fly into them. But now since they're not living in here anymore, I want to take the wire off. So that's the project for today. And I'll show you the cool new shelves that we have built since the last time you were here. Alright, here it is. I can only get to these two windows for now. And next time I'm going to do my best to get all that paint off of there so it looks better and clean them up a bit. See there's some paint on that window pretty visible. So I'm going to do all that probably not today, next time. But oh it's nice to have such a clear view compared to these windows. I don't know that I'm going to do the two on the end right away because I can't really get to them right now. They're in very precarious not easy to get to spots. This one has the tomatoes in front of it already. But it does need to be, well this one still needs to be painted and puttied and all that so that'll be later. But um, yeah, it looks much better. The other things I've done are I've finally cleaned and put fresh compost on the grow bed in here. So I'm getting ready to plant. There's a pile of seeds to start working on. So that'll be fun. I'm going to do that today. It's very windy out. It's nice, but windy. And as promised, the shelves. So Gary got these up yesterday. And by the time you see this, it'll have been up for a good week or so. So I was able to move the plants up. And I finally got into my bucket here that has all my potting soil in it, so I'm happy about that. I've got lots more stuff germinating. We've got some Moon and Stars watermelon. That's uh, this big one right here. And then those are Hale's Best Cantaloupe from seeds that we've been saving over the years. These are all squashes, summer, winter and cucumbers are in the back. So those are on the heat pad right now, trying to get those to germinate. It's been really cool and wet here. Um, we've had some nice days, but mostly not that great. <laughs> Very wet, most of the country, right? So, um, all right, more stuff germinating in here. What are those? I forget. Uh, Oh, the achicha. So those are from an American homestead. I purchased those seeds a couple of years ago and I never actually got them started. So there we are. We're going to be putting some trellises up. So they'll go in that. And then I've got some, those are the, the burgundy beans. Yes, royal burgundy. So it's a purple bean. Really pretty. So I'm excited those are coming up. Also going on the trellis. And I can see a little life starting right there. Some, some green coming up. And these are the oh, Market Mark 76 Cucumber. I actually just planted a bunch more of those over there. So we shall see what comes up. Um, oh, these are fun. This is uh, okra. Last year I grew okra here in the greenhouse. And I think I'll do it again. So they're starting to come up. That's nice. All right. Anything else in these? Nope. Nothing else. Okay. So I've got tons of basil this year. So much. It's not even funny. I've got more plants inside. I've got stuff planted already. Let's see. Oh, there's the most advanced ones up there with the tomatoes. Those are going to go out. Hopefully to start hardening off most all of this stuff. Those tall things are my moonflowers. I'm sure you can tell these are all tomatoes up here that we started from seed this winter. This tray has lots of peppers. 
um, more tomatoes, and next week I'll tell you about my little greenhouses. Maybe we'll start some seeds together. All right. Anything else? Oh, these are kind of interesting. Has anyone seen these before? You know what it is? It's a medicinal plant. I've been working on its milk thistle. So these were germinated or planted on 327, and it's taken quite a long time for them to get to this stage. But they are considered an invasive species. Um, I don't know if they are in here in Maine. They're also not really good for animals, livestock. Uh, there's some dill. More basil. Lots more basil. Um, lots more tomatoes, peppers, eggplant. These are nice. Um, did I move the... Oh, yes. Rose Campion. You see that? So these are a really pretty... These turn like a silvery color. Um, they, they get kind of hairy. And they put up these really bright pink flowers. So I ordered these online this winter. And uh, they're doing great. Great germination rate. I'm hoping... They're so spindly, though. Look at those little tiny stems. I don't know. They worry me. But, um, they're supposed to be a really hardy plant. And even here. Sorry about that. I got four roosters. They're always talking. Okay, so I guess that's everything going on in the greenhouse this week. Um, next Friday, I'll show you what I planted in the grow bed. Maybe something will be up by then. I don't know. All right, and on that note, have a great day, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Thank you for being here with us on our homesteading journey. If you like what we're doing, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and click on the bell to be notified of our new movies. From Maine Homestead Project, I'm Victoria. And I'm Gary. From our homestead to yours, have a productive and beautiful day.